Hello, this is Mr. Chavry, and like I said, we're going to be doing a playthrough of Pokemon Black and White, taking it back to Generation 5. But before I do that, I want to look at each of the Pokemon of the different types that you can have access to as we do this playthrough. Just in case you want to join in, you can have an idea of what Pokemon you would like to bring. Let's get right into it. First up, when it comes to grass types, is going to be the starter grass type. That's going to be Superior. Now this thing has great speed at 113, has good defense at 95, special defense is also at 95, however offensively it's not that great at 75. This is going to be a great defensive Pokemon if you want a defensive Pokemon on your team. It has access to some great defensive moves, however if you want something more offensive I would say skip Superior. In later generations it does get access to Contrary, however here you're going to have to work with Overgrow. And with all of this in mind, this is a defensive Pokemon. I probably wouldn't use it, but you might want to use it yourself. The next grass type we're going to look at is a grass type a lot of people kind of see as probably the worst Pokemon um, of the grass types here. Um, and that's going to be Simi Sage. This thing is a Pokemon you get early on if you have started out with Tepig as your starter. You also can find it in the early forest as well. This thing has 98 attack, 98 special attack, and 101 speed. So it's got a pretty good offensive stat distribution. However, its defenses are frail. This thing only has 63 in both defenses. So that's why this thing is something you get early on to help you out with your tight matchups. However, it's not that great, and I would say switch this thing out whenever you can if you ended up getting it from the Dream Yard. Next up is a Pokemon that you also get access to early on. This is Levani. This thing has decent speed at 92 and decent attack at 103. However, its other stats are pretty middling. Um, and this thing is not that great. Plus, it's got the bug typing as well as the grass typing, which makes it really weak to flying and fire Pokemon. Uh, and that's not including a whole host of other types that this thing is weak to. This thing would be a challenge to use, so I probably wouldn't use it myself. The next grass type we're looking at is Lilligant. This thing has good speed at 90 and great special attack at 110. This thing's defense and special defense isn't the greatest. However, this thing does have access to Quiver Dance, and it's going to boost its special defense, its speed, and its special attack. So this is probably one of the first good grass types you're going to have access to. And this thing is going to be great if you want to put a grass type on your team. Playing Pokemon White gives you access to Lilligant. However, Pokemon Black will give you access to Whimsicott. Now this thing is more supportive than Lilligant is. It's got great speed at 116. It's got decent defense at 85. However, it's not the greatest with its offensive stats. So this thing's more of a support Pokemon. And in this generation, it is pure grass. It doesn't gain access to fairy typing until generation six. So if you're playing this thing, it's not going to be as great as Lilligant, unfortunately. The next Pokemon we're looking at is Maractus. This thing has good special attack at 106. However, its defenses are terrible, only at 67. Its speed is even worse at only 60. This thing is slow. It's not going to hit things very often because it's going to be taken out quite a few times. So Maractus is going to be a challenging Pokemon if you use it as your grass type. I would probably skip this one. The next Pokemon we're going to look at is Sawsbuck. This Pokemon is actually pretty good. It's got 95 speed and 100 attack. So it's going to be a physical attacking grass type Pokemon. Defenses aren't that great. But with that speed and that attack, it could probably do some work. This thing's signature move is Horn Leech, so that way it will be able to heal itself up a little bit too. And with Chlorophyll, if you've got the sun up, it's going to have insane speed. So I would say this would be a decent Pokemon to look at if you're looking for a grass type Pokemon. The next grass type on our list is Amoongus, and this thing is one of the best defensive grass type Pokemon. Its hidden ability is Regenerator, but even with Effect Spore, its normal ability, it can actually do some damage on opponents that try to physically contact your Amoongus. 114 HP. Its defense and special defense on paper doesn't look that great with 70 and 80 respectively, but 114 HP is always, always going to help. This thing is very, very slow. 
So if you want a defensive grass type, Amoongus could be a good choice. And speaking of defensive grass type Pokemon, there is none other than Ferrothorn coming up as the king of defensive Pokemon. This thing also has a steel typing, which gives it so many more resistances than it would have if it was just pure grass. This thing's defense is at 131, amazing. 116 special defense is also great. It's very, very slow, but with those stats, it's not going to really worry about getting hit that much because it could take those hits. 94 attack is decent, so you can actually put back some damage after taking a hit or two. The move Gyro Ball actually gets a boost in damage output based off your Pokemon speed. So putting Gyro Ball would be a great still type move on this thing. You can get Leech Seed, which will heal itself up. You can also get Knock Off, which is a good tech move. This thing is one of the best grass types you can find in Unova. I'm going to include Virizion on this list, even though it is a Pokemon you get later in the game and it is a Legendary. Uh, it is in the black and white deck, so I will include it. This is a great Pokemon. 108 speed, it's fast. 129 special defense, it can take hits on that side. 90 attack and special attack aren't the best, but it can actually do some work. This is a great grass type as well, even though the fighting type is interesting. It makes it super weak to flying, however. It can do a lot of damage for you. Alright, so those are the grass types of Unova, black and white. Which one are you going to use if you use a grass type? Let me know in the comments, and I will see you in the next Pokemon video.